Hello there, and welcome to the new Focus Friday video, in which I will be showing you some of my corals today. Since I got a few new corals today and last week from a friend, or two friends actually, and I thought that was a good should be a good opportunity to uh, to give you an update on the corals in my tank. Um, yeah, let's let's see how far we get, how many we can cover. Uh, there's not as many corals in my tank as there were before. If you remember my Red Sea Reefer tank from a year, year and a half ago, it was fully stocked with coral. You couldn't barely see the rocks anymore since there was so much coral inside. Well, since I upgraded my tank, uh, of course, since adding more rock, having more space, that also reduces the amount of corals. It's a peninsula tank, so the corals are on both sides of the tank instead of just at one big display side. And some of my corals withered and died, uh, rebooting the old tank into this tank. So all these reasons combined um, account for that the tank is not as full of corals as it used to be. But still, there are enough corals for me to cover in this video. And actually, I'm pretty pleased with the way it is filled at the moment. Filled as in the amount of corals that are inside. So let's start off with some big beautiful corals, at least in my opinion. Which, for example, by starting with this red goniopora. So goniopora are uh, also referred to as flower pot corals. I have a couple of them. Uh, which are all located in this particular area of the tank. So there's the, this beautiful red one, which really stands out, in my opinion. Uh, it's really beautiful. It really blows up and extends itself very well. Uh, then there's this yellow-green one. I'm not sure what, what color I would give it, but let's call it green for the sake of this video. Um, then there's this one, which is very much recovering from uh, my tank reboot, which used to be purple and purple and pink. Now it's more faded, and you can still see a little bit of the purple inside, but it's in bad shape, and I hope it will return to its former glory. Uh, it was in a different place before I used, I moved it a bit. Then there's this little frag, which is also a green goniopora, and another little frag, and that's the one I got from a friend, which is. I think still viable but in pretty bad shape. So this is my Goniopora corner and um, yeah, as you, uh, if you've been watching my videos for a while you'll know that I uh, really uh, like Goniopora. Um, I've somehow my tank also always accepted them pretty well uh, so always happy to keep uh, a few of those. Then moving a little bit to the right and to the back, there's this beautiful flower coral, uh, ele elegance coral, as you would uh, call it in English. The word flower coral is just a Dutch translation. And uh, yeah, I really think these are beautiful. Uh, I think the uh, the way they extend their polyp is uh, is marvelous, and the way that their polyp is colored, it looks like a metallic green. Uh, the surface is really beautifully detailed and it blows nicely in the current. So I'm also very happy with that one. I actually got another elegance coral from a friend today, which is in a bit of bad shape at the moment. You can see it here, uh, but it should be recovering soon. Um, or at least I'm not sure how soon, but it should be recovering. And let's see uh, how it evolves. Another uh, type of coral that I really like and my Nemos like them even more than me, is uh, the uh, Euphilia corals. So I have a couple. Um, this metallic green one, which I've had for quite a while, which my uh, my clownfish are really digging. Then there's this green and purple one, which is actually a bit on the receding side. It's still okay, but you can, you can see the bottom left polyp is struggling. Uh, it might die. And I hope that the rest, uh, the rest of them uh, will uh, will survive the remainder. And there's this big beautiful torch, uh, which is actually more on the green side. It's a bit difficult to show you with the blue lights, but yeah, you can still see it's green. It has about seven heads, 
and they're blowing in the current nicely. Maybe there's a little bit too much flow on this coral, this particular uh, this particular one, but for now it's uh, it's okay. And then uh, unless it really starts hurting, then uh, it's fine. And then there's one more euphilia that's right on the back here. That's actually one I got from a friend today. Um, it's a purple one, dark purple with uh, white greenish tips. And let's see how that one evolves over time. Then another coral that I really enjoy is a Duncan's coral. Duncan Somapia exifuga, if I'm correct. Um, and this particular specimen and is, has been in my possession for uh, for about five years now, I guess. And it started off as being two or three small heads and uh, has evolved into about 50 of them. Um, as you can see, if you look closely on the bottom here, you can see it has been struggling for a while. A couple of the heads have, uh, have, uh, have died in the past, uh, but luckily it has been doing uh, better ever since I've started adding bacteria to the tank uh, so it's uh, it's getting in better shape and another Duncan coral is right behind the uh, euphilia it's right here I'll show it to you from the other side in a minute uh, and it's uh, it's the same kind of coral but it's a little bit more the polyps are a little bit more covered by the tentacles uh, so it shows a little less of the body and a little more of the tentacles Still, it's a uh, it's a Duncan, and uh, well, I love the way they uh, they flow in the current, and I really I uh, really like that. So moving on, there's really quite a lot of coral to cover. So let's see if how much we can cover in this video. Um, there's some Montipora right here. Montipora is also a coral that's fairly easy to keep. Um, but still looks very nice and uh, gives a very nice uh, f overall feel to the tank and then there's this green Montipora that I got from a friend today it's uh, it's on the recovering side uh, but I really like the uh, bright green color so let's see how that heals up and there's then there's the red one which I've had for quite a while uh, above that one so the night gives a nice combination this red and green Montipora uh, combined with the, uh, the Montipora Hirsuta, which uh, which is also uh, right here. I have a couple of these Hirsuta pieces. Uh, it used to be a really large colony, uh, but that started to die off from the base, so I fragged it as much as possible and put some frags here and there to, uh, to make sure that it doesn't all fade away. And another type of coral that I really uh, like as well our mushroom coral. So there's this uh, this orange one, uh, gold orange ricordea, um, one that I really like. I have had this for about one and a half years. I got it from uh, from uh, some of my co-workers when I uh, left my previous job and I really like it uh, the way it looks and the way it extends its polyp and mixes into the overall tank appearance uh, it's really nice distinguishable and distinguished color so that's uh, really nice to uh, to have then these uh, clavaria polyps these are actually growing quite fast I'm not sure why but these are uh, uh, suddenly these are growing uh, well not out of control but really fast faster than I would have expected uh, they are nice and I have a bit of orange and green in them. I'll show you from a different angle right here. There you can see that they have uh, they have spread out pretty thick quickly and uh, I knew actually I knew that they potentially could spread across the tank very quickly. Of course you need to prevent that wherever possible if they become a plague uh, but for now they have not taken plague-like uh, features yet, so I'll just keep them this way as long as they stay there and don't uh, spread across the entire tank. So Gorgonians are another type of coral that I uh, have in my tank. There's a couple of them. 
um, I don't dig into them very much because I have discussed them before. There's this purple one, uh, which is uh, a fully photosynthetic, um, which means that they live off uh, light, so you don't need to feed them extra uh, food or particles to uh, to keep them alive. They will just live by the light that you provide them with. Same goes for this Gorgonian, the Elizabethae uh, Gorgonian, uh, which is uh, also photosynthetic. And uh, yeah, overall uh, gives a nice look to the tank, as it has some uh, some vertical features, where most coral m grow horizontally. So that's nice. So for this video, we're already past the 10 minute mark, so let's uh, let's uh, end it somewhere soon. A lot more coral, of course, to uh, to discuss. Um, some more Gorgonians, some more Goniopora as well, as you can see right here. So overall, I guess there's still quite some coral in my tank, despite that it looks a little more somewhat more empty than before um, but yeah uh, the uh, the collection is uh, ever expanding uh, when I see something nice or when uh, something comes uh, across my path um, so uh, yeah really happy with the tank that the the way the tank is uh, shaping up right now um, of course one of the goals still is to regain full stability um, as long as there's cyanoalgae algae on the bottom, as you can see right here, uh, the tank stability has not fully returned yet, so I'll use that as an indicator. Uh, it's time to uh, start measuring some water parameters again this weekend, uh, so let's see what that brings. And uh, yeah, let's continue and um, see you in the next video. So for now, uh, have a great weekend, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.